Hey Dungeon Linkers, what's up? Today we are going to do the end of the week guild vs. guild. Go over it real quick. As you see, we only have 33 minutes left. Uh, we were undefeated going into today, but that's a little bittersweet because we put up a fight today, but Bahala ended up beating us. Uh, I'm going to do three attacks but that is going to make no difference maybe get us a few more points but nothing crazy uh, just to go over the games real quick we beat Bill Ackless by a pretty good amount which is what is going to let us advance this week so everybody in the guild did a great job this week And ever since joining this guild, I will give it props. This guild is a bunch of great people. So us and Valhalla, both undefeated. Valhalla is the one that will be undefeated by the end of the week. They beat us. Uh, as you see, we have three attacks left. All my attacks. But it's not going to make a huge difference. I had one defense this week. Let's see if we can get three wins for the team. Not a huge, terrible team to attack. Terra being level 50, but me knowing my mermaid is her weakness and is 55 she will be the first possible victim today we are going to use my defense slash water team here And we are going to try for at least a four chain, which it looks like we have. Let's not skip that box. Oh, let's go back. As you saw, there's only 30 minutes left as well before we advanced. I don't know what's going on right now. Cannot get this chain to complete. There we go. There's four. Focus the cleric. Make sure she is taken out. So my next focus is probably going to be the archer. And that being her super ability is very deadly. So we are going to want to make sure she is taken care of. So we are going to have a three chain. And now that she is frozen, I'm going to let this three chain just kind of do its thing here. I'm not going to fully focus her. So now the only thing we have to worry about is focusing her on this end. Now. The cleric with a revive, which is going to be nice because now I'm going to be able to get off her super ability. Oh, and it did not matter. I'm trying to click on her super ability and it was already game over. So we won that one pretty easily gave me a little scare but nothing too crazy this week I got to limit break my weapon master he is now 45 which is pretty sweet because his main problem is he doesn't have enough HP so each time you limit break him he's getting more HP more defense he is dying a little less. This team looks like nobody could beat them. 
from my guild. Let's see what uh, level his characters are. He's got a 45 Rika, 35 tanks, 45 Kiki in that defense team, and also a 50 Weapon Master. So we are going to try this team. Same team, water defense team. Hopefully he doesn't get off a three chain. Your worst uh, nightmare against a team like this is if he gets off a three chain. And the reason behind that being he has... 450% perfect attack so you don't want a perfect attack that is going to hit all of your characters as you see I took out a lot of his HP and he only has a one chain going so he's not going to do too much damage I should be able to take out Kiki and Weapon Master this go round and that being before I complete the chain I'm not too worried about Weapon Master, I'm not going to fully focus him that also being, ah, oh, nice, messed that up a little bit not too worried about it the reason I did not want to focus Weapon Master is because I knew he was going to get taken out anyway but it's okay. We are looking pretty good so far. We are going to complete another four chain. Took out Rika. Not worried about Lulu. We will use my Rika's special ability. Heal my team up a little bit. Focus tanks. Took tanks out. So another win in the book. not too difficult again should definitely be able to take her out and there that is so that's two down two wins one to go real quick before I do my last attack I changed my defense team up again now it's basically the team I am attacking with. Uh, if you run a Lulu, or not a Lulu, a Lee the Monk against me, you are most likely in a good position, and that being because my water attack will not be doing very much damage to you. So looking for our last opponent. Three wins, two defenses. Here, a lot of perfect attack. This is going to be over 650%. Perfect attack. And as you see right here, this is the reason why he has two defenses. Three simple characters, but they are all limit broken to their max ability. And you see their stats are very, very good when they are limit broken fully. I'm still going to try to attack this team. If I lose, I'm basically showing you how good limit broken characters are. If I win, it's because he does not have a healer. So we are going to fully focus on Nina first, and that being because yeah, I'm, well, actually, we will focus on Ellen first, mainly because I'm not worried about Kiki because of my water mermaid. There we go. We did some pretty good damage to his team there. Took out Ellen. Alan's attack is a lot stronger than anybody else on this team. 
her line attack, so I wanted to get rid of her first. Trying to see if I could complete any other type of chain here. I could do a four chain, so we're going to back up. Make sure I get that four chain off. This time we are going to focus Nina. Taking Nina out, and then we only have to worry about Kiki on the next go round. Hopefully taking her out. Gonna try to get my Rika as much as possible. They just took out my cleric. Gonna try to get my heal in. Got my heal in. Mermaid using her special ability. And there we go. That team was pretty strong. Gave me a little bit of a scare, but nothing too crazy. Playing my advantages against him and getting some pretty good combos. If I didn't get those combos in, it would have been a whole different story. So we will advance this week. So I will show you week two rewards or tier two rewards. Hopefully they are a lot better than what we have been getting, which is one sword and 2,000 gold. It's not too great of a reward doesn't really give you any want or you know to do it so real quick before we end I'm going to my defense team is still a crappy defense team I will switch it today today's the last day before this resets as well I'm aiming for the top 1%, but if I just stay in the top 5, which I definitely will, I won't be too upset. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. And until next time, thank you for watching.